guys, today I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I do my hair. It's super simple. It takes about maybe 10 minutes to do after it's dry. I got lots and lots of requests to do a tutorial, which I'm not a beauty blogger by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought, hey, what the heck? Plus, I wanted to tell you about my new curling iron. Um, unfortunately, I was going to do this tutorial a couple of weeks ago, and I was getting ready in the morning one morning, and my curling iron just died. I mean, up and died. The top just fell off, and there was nothing I could do to fix it, and so I had to buy a new one. Fortunately, we always have some money for Amazon for those kind of things, um, and I had plenty of money in my Amazon budget, um, so I went ahead and spent it. Didn't feel guilty at all. Be forewarned, I don't look pretty in this next clip because I hadn't done my hair yet, so forgive me. One thing you should know about me is my curly hair hairstyle is actually not necessarily my regular hairstyle. My curly hair hairstyle is the hairstyle I wear when I need to get my roots done. <laughs> when my roots start getting long, I figure if I have curls out here, everybody focuses on the curls and nobody really notices my roots. And my hair is naturally gray at this point. I'm 100% gray, have been since I was about 25, which is annoying, but you know, whatever. So, you know, with blonde hair, it, it blends pretty well. So my roots, you in a couple of my videos, you can really notice them, but in others, not so much. So I wanted to talk to you about my new curling iron and show you how I actually style my hair. It'll be a quick little tutorial. It is the easiest hairstyle ever in the history of man. So this is my new curling iron. I think I paid like $35. I wanted a tourmaline one. So this is a ceramic tourmaline. I got it on Amazon. And of course, as always, the link will be down in the description box. You can just go ahead and, and check it out if you're interested. This is what my hair looks like normally when I wake up. I have very, very fine hair and frizzy hair. It has lots of poof to it, but there's not a lot there. I take a cheap gel or mousse or whatever I have on hand, whatever's cheap. I just put like a little dab at my palm, rub my hands together so they're evenly coated and just grab and fluff and grab and fluff and grab and fluff. Okay. So till it's evenly distributed and now my hands are sticky so I have to go wash them. Now I take the top section of my hair and I do this in layers. Okay. So I clip this up and then I take this and I curl it. Okay. Now the key to this hairstyle is that you alternate your curl. So if I curl one forward, the next one goes backwards. One forward, one backwards. Super simple, do that all over my whole head with the exception of the back. The back I do differently because I found that if I do the back with the vertical curls, I get like a line right down the middle and it looks like cheesy 80s wing hairstyle. The other thing in it is key is hairspray. And I honestly, I will legitimately tell you I buy the cheapest possible hairspray I can find. And then once you have your curls done, you just spray them. If your hair is super healthy, this hairstyle may not be for you because my hair is always dry. It always has been, even when I wasn't coloring it. And then this is how I do the back. With the back of my hair, what I do is I actually flip it upwards, you know, into that big curl going up. And that actually allows for kind of fuller hair in the back. Once I start doing the top layers, then I start curling down. So it's just the bottom layers that are curled upward. Then I go into the next layer and I usually do the sides. And then after the next round, I'll do one in the back. So the barrel of this curling iron is super, super tight. It's a lot tighter than my Con Air. And that may be because I had my Con Air for many, many years. 
and this one will loosen up over time but I do find it a little bit tight to pull through my hair so I have to open it a little bit to get it to slide nicely so my curling iron it obviously gets very hot it's a variable temperature and I really like that in some of the reviews I saw that people burn their hair I am NOT finding that to be an issue and as you can see mine's actually on the highest temperature setting and it always is and I've and my hair super fine and I've never had any problems with burning but some people have so um, and there are pictures on Amazon if that's a concern for you if you've ever done that to your hair before A girl with a little curl right in the middle of her forehead and when she was good she was very very good and when she was bad she was horrid so after you let the hair dry hairspray dry don't do it before the hairspray is dry then you are going to separate the curls with your fingers and this is how I do it I will tell you when I first started doing it this way um, I was really concerned about going out because I felt like I looked like an idiot but you know the more I feel like I look like an idiot the more people compliment me on it thanks for watching make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me so go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one see ya